Heidi Conrad. Let's go take a tour of my koala room. This is the grand finale of all our suffix lessons and rooms. First, there's a review of all of the suffixes and their meanings. Then you'll be able to hunt for the suffixes. Hunt around the room to find all of our suffixes and match them to our cute caterpillar or our consonant crushing crocodile. You'll be able to talk about why the suffix S and the suffix ED are pronounced three different ways. There are also four activity grids you can enlarge for ready-made suffix adding practice. There are so many words and suffixes on the wall, you can create your own activity on the large board. There are also ideas for other suffix adding activities you can do. Hidden in the back of the barn are small rules and exceptions, such as when a word ends in IE or when the change Y to I rule doesn't always work. Small rules such as what to do when words end in EE -E or YE, when a word is more than one syllable and ends with the letter L, and the letters that the doubling rule does not apply to are found on the back wall as well. There is a full movable alphabet on the board, so the options of word making and suffix adding are endless. Remember, while practicing adding suffixes, it's always a good idea to say the meaning of the word after a suffix is added. Congratulations on everything you've learned about adding suffixes to words.